Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Are you ready to share your website with the world? In this tutorial, I will show you how to publish your website using Hostinger, a popular web hosting provider for connecting your domain to uploading your website files and much more. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So this is guys Hostinger dashboard now let me show you real quick how we can get to this page which is simply by going to hostinger.com and from this page you can actually get one of their plans they have a wordpress website builder hosting and domain names so if we click on wordpress for example you will get all the plans that had relation with wordpress as premium web hosting business web hosting and cloud startup their plans will start from three dollars per month and you will have two months for free in case you'd like to go for this one you can try it and they will give you an extra two months and it is pretty good that they are listing everything with the features that they are having as an example the top feature comparison you will have around uh, 100 websites, unlimited bandwidth, free domain, unlimited free SSL, weekly backups, performance 1 gigabit RAM, 1 CPU core. So these are all the things that you can read by your own and choose which plan to go for exactly. Now, in case, let's say that you don't want to get a hosting, you want to get a domain name. You can simply go to here again, click on this menu and choose domains. From here, you can simply get whatever domain name you'd like from here. It is simply by writing the name that you think of. As an example, I'm going to search for uh, txt by. So this is just a random name. And this is what this, these are like the domains that you can get using this name. There is the .com, which is for only $10 per year. Cloud, which is around one dollar per year shop one dollar per year and same goes for other plans so in case you'd like to go for dot com i highly recommend you guys to actually go and check godaddy godaddy gives you the same plan for around four dollars i think per, per year which is yeah five dollars so you will save four dollars which you can later on buy it as hosting so you will spend here for example it's just for any name and we can get a domain name.com for five dollars now we will be stay up with another five dollars so we can go to a hosting web hosting and we can just take this hosting which is around three dollars per month plus two months for free so we will have three months of this hosting and it's going to be costing us less than ten dollars which was the amount that we were going to spend in total in hosting here in case we'd like to get one hosting so now it is up to you to choose whether you go full with the hostinger or to go like hostinger as a hosting and then choose godaddy as a domain provider the next thing is once you bought your domain name and your hosting you will have to open it as so so here you will find home click on home and this is like the main page that you will get here you will find all the domains as for example for me i have here the my domain that i have bought you can click here to manage it so click on manage and this is the page that you can have all the ideas about your domain all the informations necessary so here we have the status the webs the domain is active the email verification status is verified this is the date when it's going to expire and this is the secret key now in case you wanted to to connect this a domain with another uh, hosting as for example we can connect it to uh, WordPress or you can connect it to blogger as an example what you have to do is simply if I went here to blogger.com so I will just go to blogger.com this is just an example click on settings from here they will give you uh, an option to actually add like a domain name to it so custom domain here I'm going to actually add for example this one so what I'm going to do is go back copy this domain paste it over here sorry uh, I have to copy the domain name okay let's copy it from here paste it around here save um, www dot save and now they will give us some stuff to add so now it has been 
directly connected because I have my own DNS connected in here. How to connect the DNS of the blogger? You can just go here, DNS services, and then add your Google hosting DNS. So make sure it is CNAME, add the name, they will give you literally everything that you will need. And right after that, your domain will be connected and your blogger domain will be changed to this one. So you will have a website with the domain that you have bought from Hostinger. In, in case you had like the hosting and everything in here, well, you gotta use one of the tools. As an example, you can go with WordPress. WordPress is easy to install in Hostinger. Just make sure that the hosting that you are choosing will support WordPress. So here, it is managed by WordPress, so you can go for it. But it is not optimized for WooCommerce. So in case you'd like to go for WooCommerce and make an e-shopping store, you will not be able to do that. You can do it with the second plan or the third plan, which is completely up to you. So as I said, here you can go to web hosting, you can go to WordPress hosting and cloud hosting. WordPress hosting will provide you with WordPress 100%, so you will not have a problem with that. Here, these are the tools that you will get as a website holder, so I highly recommend you guys to go for the WordPress Pro, since it will give you literally everything, from 3 GB RAM, 300 subdomains, 300 websites, object cache for WordPress, uh, WordPress strategy tool, multi-site, free email, unlimited FTP, and the most important thing as a WordPress user or a website user, which is having an unlimited free SSL. Unlimited free SSL or SSO is a really important thing to secure that your website is 100% secure and trustworthy. So the SSL simply it is this HTTPS thing that you might find in the beginning of the most of the website that you are logged into. Now, in case you didn't find it, maybe or 100% of the times, Google Chrome or any kind of browser will not allow you to go to this website unless you give it access to. So they will ask you for permission in order to get into that website. So that's why having an SSL is pretty important as a WordPress owner. So these are the plans to go for. And the next thing, which is by binance, etc. You will have everything connected. So you don't have to do anything else. Your WordPress website should be ready and your dashboard will be created in a couple minutes right after you buy these plans. So it is very easy to start a website using Hostinger and it is very, very good to use it as well. So unless guys, you didn't want to go for GoDaddy, the process is going to be straightforward and easy if you went all in Hostinger. Of course, it can be much uh, expensive, but you know, you will save time, you will save uh, and you will save like the experience that you will have the videos that you are going to watch in order to connect everything together So yeah guys, that was completely it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial